Welcome back. In this tutorial I will show you how to use smart narratives. Smart narratives are AI generated textual summaries which can tell you the patterns, trends and key metrics which are present in our data. Smart narratives are dynamic in nature. It means whenever we are changing the data or we are clicking on some filters what happens it automatically updates based on the data which are changing right now so whether we are clicking on any of the visuals data is going to get filtered or we are using filter or slicer automatically smart narratives are going to get updated and it tells us those details which is generally difficult for human to find it out in order to make a smart narratives what i will do i will create some of the visuals even in order to create visuals i am going to use the power of ai so what you are required to do double click any place in your canvas area and it will create a visual which is question and answer and this is also based on ai and using this technique you can create a dashboard very fast so whenever you are double clicking it creates uh, q and a and it gives you suggestions also to create different types of visual like count of product id total sales over time sort orders by region total profit over time and we can type our own questions also so let us let us first click on total sales over time and click on this arrow so what will happen it will create one visual for us and which is powered by ai so it is going to tell us how the total sales over time is changing and now i want to make this visual to look as a normal visual so we can make this q and a off so click on this small button and this is going to make question and answer features off and it will look like that we have created some normal chart normal visuals so here the first one i created which is telling that according to order date how my sales are varying again i will create another one double click and question and answer is coming here i want region wise sales region wise sales pie chart so i want pie chart to come so just type pie chart and click on this arrow and you see that we are going to get another visuals where we have got pie chart for different regions again turn the q and a feature off so i have got my second visuals right now i am not changing any of the headings etc because i want to show you how we are going to use smart narratives so the titles and all those things i am just keeping it as it is so this is my second visual so time wise sales region wise sales again i will copy and paste it and i will change data into it so here it is region now instead of region i am going to put sub category so take sub category over here in the region so region i want to get replaced and sub category came and i will change this visual to stacked column chart and how my sales through different sub categories are coming that is being shown in this chart again i will copy and paste it here so that i can put one more chart and at this place i will take another variable my sales is already there now based on segment sip mode i can take segment of the customer so let us take segment of the customer and remove the sales ok 
कि सब कैटेगरी आई डोंट वांट आई वांट सेगमेंट सो सेगमेंट विल गो हियर एंड सेल्स विल कम हियर या सो नाउ सेगमेंट वाइज सेल्स आर कमिंग ओवर हियर सो राइट नाउ आई हैव पुट फोर डिफरेंट विजुअल्स इन इट लेट मी पुट वन स्लाइसर आल्सो स्लाइसर विल हेल्प मी टू फिल्टर द डेटा बेस्ड ऑन इट सो वी हैव गॉट स्लाइसर ऑप्शन ओवर हियर वेयर देयर इज ए फनल so this is one slicer and this is another one button slicer so i clicked on button slicer right now this one so here is the slicer and this one is button slicer in the button slicer i am going to put a product name or let me take ship mode ship mode so by different ship mode i want to filter my data for that i created button slicer and i will make change in the property so come here uh, go to the format your visuals slicer settings and layout grid tiles maximum row shown is Three columns shown. Three, so I want four columns and maximum row to be one. So I want all these buttons to come in the same line, and I don't want this title to be visible over here. Click on General Title. I'll make it off. So this is coming like a filter. I can click on this, and I will be able to filter the data. so i put button slicer and then i put slicer for the mode of the delivery first class same day second class standard and double click will give me all the data or click on this area clear section so this is my uh, report set uh, setup is done and then i am going to use smart narratives for it this is narrative button click on the canvas click on the canvas and click on smart narratives and click on custom it will take little time it will analyze all the visuals which are present on the screen and based on that it will try to find out different story of the data based on this so let us see it is able to create so many stories for our data and sum of sales so it is first talking about the first visual sum of sales trended up resulting in 4239.68% increase between friday january 3 2014 so the first data is this friday January three two zero one four and last is thirtieth December two zero one seven, thirtieth December two zero one seven. So it is telling that the increase in sales has happened from up to four thousand two three six nine point six eight percent. Next, it is talking about another one. Some of sales started trending. on friday march 21st 2014 so when the sales started increasing that is telling on march 21st rising by 27.82% in 9.33 months so very good story from data it is able to understand then sum of sales jumped from 4109822 this much during its steepest incline between friday march 21 2014 and wednesday this one so steepest increase in the uh, jump sales of some uh, some of sales that's what it is talking about now it is coming to the different regions west is central and south west has the highest sum of sales we can see here 725.46000 dollar sales followed by is central and south so it's talking about this one 
West accounted for how much? 31.5% of some of the sales. We can see here also it is coming. And at 330, this value phone had the highest sum of sales and was this much percentage higher than fastener which had the lowest sum of sale. So it is able to tell us the difference between the highest and the lowest product. And across all 17 subcategories, we have got 17 subcategories over here. Sales ranged between this to this value. So automatically it is able to generate the key insights from our data. That is what is smart narratives. Now let us click on any of the filter. So suppose I want to go for just first class. Click on this. And as the data is changing to apply the filter of the first class for all the places. You see this was 38 now it has changed to 36.92 and all places data has changed and you see that our smart narratives automatically able to talk about what is happening for first class. Now let us click on the same day delivery and smart narratives again it's getting updated and for the same day delivery whatever is happening it is able to understand that and it is narrating that. So it is very much dynamic and by Imp implementing smart narratives in your data you will be able to get the story which is becomes little difficult for human to uh, find it out and then you will be able to speak all the truths which are hidden in our data so understanding trend and pattern of the data using smart narratives becomes very much easier we have also got one more feature into it let me show you that So suppose we want to say what is the total profit. So I'm just going to click here. The total profit is we are talking about sales right now. I am putting the total profit is and when you click on this. We have got option called custom fine tune custom narratives click on it. Then we are getting this plus value click on plus value and ask question. So I want profit. And our smart narrative is able to fetch profit for us. Now let us check again. I'm clicking on the first class. And it is telling what is total profit for the first class. It is 48,969 when we click on same day delivery. It will change profit for the same day. Click on second class. The profit is going to come for the second class which is, which is 5757446.64 and when you remove this filter, clear the section, overall profit we are going to get that is 50, uh, okay 286.397. Let us check it in our data. Same thing or not, let us check. 286.4K. So 
you can insert some of the other variables also which are not there as per your requirement and you will be able to generate the smart narratives hope you have understood it and you will be able to implement it in your report thank you we will meet in the next video.